With 2019 right around the corner, I thought I would make a list of some of my favorite products that I've reviewed in 2018. These are the products that I feel you can't go wrong with in their respective categories, and the products I have no problem recommending on a regular basis. Now, just a heads up, there's going to be a lot of headphones on this list because the headphone market is really heating up and I'm really excited to see where it goes in 2019. But don't worry, other things like speakers, drones, and accessories also made their way onto this list. So first up, I think it's pretty obvious if you watch my videos on a regular basis, but my number one most favorite product of 2018 period are the Sony 1000XM3s. Even though I didn't expect to get them so soon, I'm really glad we did. I feel the 1000XM3s are currently the best ANC headphones on the market right now. They manage to block out the most amount of noise and they do so with very little cabin pressure. Their build quality and fit has also been vastly improved from the predecessors thanks to their much larger and spacious ear cups and new low profile design. They also bring a lot of features like Google Assistant integration, they have an ambient aware mode which is very useful when you're walking around in the city or if you work in an office. And they also have cook attention which is very useful for short conversations. These headphones also have a very long battery life even with ANC turned on and their fast charging is great for commuters as well. But most importantly, these headphones sound very good. Their bass is deep and punchy, they have very well defined mids, and the highs never crash. Right now, these are the headphones to beat in 2019. Now, as a reminder, if you want to pick any of the products up mentioned on this list, I'll have links in the description below, and if you use the links, it really helps out the channel. But I know dropping $350 on a pair of headphones isn't an option for everyone. Which brings us to the Sony Wachia 700N. Even though they have a retail price of $200, they typically go on sale for about $150 and occasionally go on sale for even 50% off. And even though their build quality isn't amazing, they are perhaps the most featured packed sub $200 headphones out there. Just like the 1000 XM3s, they have Google Assistant integration, they have an adjustable EQ, and they have an extremely long battery life of 35 hours. Now, even though these headphones have active noise, noise cancellation, don't expect them to block out as much noise as the 1000 XM3s. But thanks to their very comfortable and spacious ear cups and ANC, I think the Wachia 700N are a great pair of headphones for high school and college students on a tighter budget looking for headphones to wear while they study. But for those of you looking for a pair of headphones to have lots of fun with, there's the Skull Candy Crusher 360. Now, just like how the Sony 1000 XM3s are currently the best ANC headphones out there, these are the best bass head headphones on the market right now. The bass on these headphones is honestly like nothing I've ever heard before, and they make the bass on the Sony XB950N1 look like a joke. But I'm telling you, anytime I wear these headphones, I can't help but crack smile. Now, yeah, I know $300 does seem like a lot for a pair of bass head headphones, but Skull Candy makes up for it with their build quality. There's a lot of metal on these headphones, whatever isn't metal is soft touch material, and the faux leather feels pretty good as well. And even if you use these headphones with their bass feature turned off, they're a good looking pair of headphones period with a decent battery life of 29 hours. And the last headphones on this list are the Audio-Technica ATH M50 XBT. Just like how the Sonys are great for commuters and how the Skull Candies are great for people looking to have fun, these are great for creators looking for a pair of headphones they can use after they're done editing their videos or for people who just prefer a neutral sound signature. These headphones have all of the great characteristics found on their predecessors which have a cult following and even when you go wireless, they still perform pretty well. But before we wrap up with headphones on this list, I do want to give an honorable mention to the Windows Surface headphones. Even though they have great styling and build quality, I really like their dials, and they also have lots of features like ANC and ambient mode and voice assistant integration, I still think they have lots of improving to do if they want to catch up with the Sony 1000 XM3s. But I really hope we see a follow up to these in 2019. But now let's get into my favorite speakers of 2018. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I first reviewed the JBL Clip 3 was because my pre-order for my JBL Extreme 2 was delayed and I really needed to put out content. But after using the Clip 3, I just really liked it a lot. Now, no, it doesn't sound as good as the Bose SoundLink Micro, but for a $60 speaker, the Clip 3 performs very well. Besides, I don't use the Clip 3 to listen to music. I use it as my dedicated podcast machine whenever I'm working around the house or when I'm in the shower. And since it has a much longer real-world battery life than the SoundLink Micro, I don't have to charge it nearly as frequent. But if you're looking for a large portable speaker, then you can't go wrong with the JBL Extreme 2. 
What really impresses me about this speaker compared to all of the other speakers I've compared this speaker with is the amount of hardware this speaker packs in such a small package. Not a lot of other speakers out there have a dual transducer, dual tweeter, and dual passive radiator setup. And even though the LG PK7 does have a similar setup to the Extreme 2, it doesn't sound or perform nearly as good. So that's why the Extreme 2 is one of my most recommended portable speakers of 2018. It sounds great. JBL Connect Plus makes it super easy to pair with other JBL speakers if you plan on getting more in the future. And the new bottle opener built into the carrying strap has proven to be more useful than I thought if you routinely take the speaker to your friend's house whenever there's a get together. But if you're looking for a great at-home speaker, then that's where the new Marshall Stanmore 2 comes in. The Stanmore 2 gives you JBL boombox levels of wall-shaking bass at a lower cost and in a much smaller package. It's just a little bigger than the Extreme 2 I just mentioned, and I also feel this is a great at-home speaker because I'm a really big fan of that Marshall Classic design, so I think this speaker will look great in almost any living room. Now, when it comes to drones, DJI in particular has had a very busy year. With the release of their new Mavic Air, Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom, Ronin-S, Osmo Pocket, and Osmo Mobile 2, there's a lot to choose from. But I do think the DJI Mavic Air is the most impressive and important product DJI announced this year. The Mavic Air not only is a great foldable drone, period, it brings uncompromised aerial cinematography to the masses at a not so scary price compared to the Mavic Pro. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about on this list is Apple's new 18 watt charger. Even though I think Apple should have included this charger with their new iPhones, and I really do think it would really help with their sales. If you do get a new iPhone or have an iPhone that supports fast charging, you gotta do something about Apple's outdated and slow 5 watt charger. And there you have it. There are some of my favorite products I've had the pleasure of using this 2018. And I feel you can't go wrong with any of them if you choose to pick them up. But I'm really excited to see what 2019 brings, and I can't wait to see how headphones evolve this coming year. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. Support the channel by clicking on the links down below, and I'll catch you next time.